let's talk about stats. All right, the girls varsity record right now is three and four. This is Coach McCoy's second year coaching this varsity team, and man, has he done an amazing job with this, the girls, just training them up and then putting them in the right place. The schools that they won against uh, was, was South Charleston, Warren, and Huntington, which those were, were not very easy feats, but they were good ones. Now, their losing streak is all inside of their sectional, so South, they play South again today, but South and Ripley, which makes them the underdog. But if, if you know me, I always root for the underdog, especially when they got great players like Sarah McDonald, just an attacking midfielder. Like, that's an amazing, that she, she does a great job down there. And then you got a, a powerful forward freshman, Madison Spear, just scoring goals, five goals just in the last game. And then you got the junior, Sophie Thompson, just dominating, just crushing it at, at goalkeeper. Which I saw that video, by the way. You guys can go check it out on our Facebook page at PHS Soccer. So uh, overall, our record is 4-1-2. and two. Darn you, Jefferson. Our record within the region, we are actually 3-0. and oh. So everybody that's in our region, we've won against them. And a uh, good thing, I just looked this up, we are nationally ranked. I don't know if you've ever knew, known this, but Max Preps puts us at 329th in the nation. And by state standards, we are actually 8th. The only reason why we're 8th is because we have that one loss because of Jefferson. I mean, last year we were we were fifth, which is not not a not far away from where we're at now. So a couple more wins will actually push us back up in the rankings. So we're coming for you, Jefferson and G Dub and Winfield and all you guys that are up there. Coach Falselman has thrown ingredients at this team and just put them together and put them exactly where they need to be, which is what you need to do if you're going to take this team to states. With the B team sitting on the bench. Lately, they've been getting a little bit more extra playing time onto the field. With last game, I think they had like at least 40 plus minutes on, on varsity time against South Charleston. And I do foresee Coach working them into the lineup because you're going to need those B players to come in and give these guys a rest. But knowing that when you make this transition, there's no change. It's good going into a game knowing that you can take out Matt and put Sam in. You can take out Parker and put Anthony in. You can take out Murad and put John in into a, a seamless transition of a continuous team playing as a team. Let's get back into it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We're going through the whole thing. Terrence?